Good morning, my beautiful bunches of butternut squash. Um, hmm. This is a spend a week with me, which I've never done before, so I don't know what it's going to entail because my life's really not that interesting. Um, I know, obviously, last week, last week or the week before, sorry, I obviously did my um, video about domestic violence, which is something that I want to speak so much more about. Like, I feel like there's so much more to say. I feel like I wanted to just feel YouTube channel with a bit of light this week um just because like domestic violence is so serious and anyone going through it or has been through it will know it's 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 one of the hardest things i felt like to get over and get through however i feel like it's important to know there is light at the end of the tunnel um and don't get me wrong <laughs> sometimes i hold it together very well and sometimes i don't however yeah so i'm just gonna just spend a week with me this week um I love watching these of people they're just so random and mine's probably going to be an absolute hot mess. I mean, you know, start my week off right, which is important on a Monday, I feel like you should always start your week right. Um, I, wow, my kitchen's really dirty. Um, I got a, another parking ticket, which has equaled probably about £400 in the last month. But we're not going to dwell on that, are we? Because it's, it's positive, this is, this is positive. So, to be positive, I love a smoothie wah in the morning. I love a smoothie, um, and so I'm gonna make one. I absolutely will forever love Lidl. It is my shop, like, it is just so cheap. I mean, strawberries for £1.30, where do you ever find them? I uh, don't even wear, so if you want some loving, I suggest you go back there. I swear, the sun brings out something in me that I didn't even know was there. I have an alter ego in the summer, that is Cat Slater. I just love the sun. It just makes me want to drink Prosecco all day long. And for the smoothie, this is what I have. I have banana, banana, pineapple, raspberries and strawberries. I know I'm really sorry, this vlog is probably going to be a whole up and down something. Like I really go through something all week. Like my mood completely changes. Can I eat this banana off the floor? Um, I mean it's main floor. I'm going through anyway. Um, do you put yogurt in a smoothie? Because I feel like you do. But I don't want to ruin it. I'm going to anyway. I always look like a baby chipmunk when I eat. I just wanted to film your, fill your screens with more positivity this week. Um, especially for anybody that, obviously I'm gonna touch upon it way more than I am right now. Um, but for anybody that is in that situation and wants to leave, like, and you feel in the worst place you've ever felt. Like, baby girl, I feel you, trust me. But if there is so much light at the end of the tunnel, like so much light, I cannot even describe it. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm nowhere near where I wanna be at all, but you will get there. Like, it's a will, you will. And that's why I wanna also bring you with positivity when I'm positivity as well because if i'm just filling my channel and my instagram and everything like that with negativity and not negativity but you know sort of dwelling on what happened i feel like it's not a i want it to be a place where it's overcoming that situation do you know what i mean and we'll overcome it together because don't get me wrong i have so much more overcoming to do so i've literally pineapple raspberries banana and strawberry i'm gonna put actually yogurt in it i'm going i'm gonna do that bags under my eyes are Chanel. Moment of truth, is it you're gonna be yum yum? These straws are all well and good until like they literally taste like a wet towel. Halloween straw. 
come with me, my beautiful angels. Mmm. <sighs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just straightened my hair and I feel slightly more human now. Um, I get so many questions about my hair and I just wanted to, I'm going on a hair journey and so I feel like I need to talk about it at the start. So I always only use hair burst products as everyone knows, I've rant and rave about them all the time on my hair. So I use their shampoo and conditioner and then the hair elixir when my hair is damp. That is like a heat defense spray and it also helps to add shine. Um, but. I need to tackle a problem with my hair that is really starting to annoy me. So, so yeah, these Chewable Hair Vitamins by Hair Burst. Um, they've got vitamin, I can't say the words, I just can't. But they've got vitamins, selenium and zinc in them. Um, they're strawberry and blackcurrant flavour and you just eat two in the morning with your breakfast, cup of tea, coffee, whatever you look to have in the morning. Um, and yeah, it's got biotin, if I'm right in saying that selenium that I just said, vitamins A, B5, B6, B12, C and E, and zinc. And these just help with hair growth, hair thickness, the overall appearance of your hair, the overall health of your hair. Yeah, like they are just, but yeah, last time I used them, I really saw a difference in my hair, so I'm hoping this time it's gonna work again. I mean, the hair and the shampoo and conditioner are absolutely unreal. Um, if you can see there, I'm not sure if you can see the shine, but, I love how my hair feels after using the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I have popped in the description box my discount code that's valid for two months. So if you're interested in any of the hair burst products from whether it's the shampoo, the conditioner, um, which I strongly recommend. And also, I mean, if you want to come on this hair journey with me, buy them at the same time as well. The discount code is there for you to all use. Um, but discount code in the description. So if you want to buy the shampoo, conditioner, they've got hair masks, they've got the hair elixir that I use, or if you want to go on the vitamin journey with me then please do i'll keep you all updated on that journey with these chewable hair vitamins twice a day um and fingers crossed my hair is just thicker and longer i'm sick of it breaking off all the time also completely forgot that it's easter week you girl that loves chocolate it's i thrive and shine in this week like easter is my thing forget about christmas easter is the one for me like Oh yeah, oh yeah, one more time, one more time. Um, hi guys, we're gonna make cupcakes today and we're gonna open this wrapper. My mummy is gonna... Hello guys, it's me, Malia, and it's mummy here helping me make cupcakes today and we got you corn before we get started click the swim fun then occasion baby few thumbs up tell them tell them what are we gonna do today oh i'll tell them what we're gonna do today so we're gonna make some easter cakes aren't we yeah and it's just <laughs> 75 grams of butter two tablespoons of golden syrup and then I use dairy milk in the thing, mix it together, and voila, but it's nice and easy, isn't it? Isn't it nice for you to do, isn't it, Malia? Yeah. Well, guys, when we finish it, we're going to eat it off. Um, we're going to eat it, then after dinner, we're going to eat all the cake. We're going to eat all of it and have a cinema, aren't we, Mum? We're going to eat all of it now. I, um, well, me and Malia both. Get headaches, ain't we, Maria? Yeah. I can't make it lots of headaches. I know. And but Maria had a blood test and it came back that she's just got low vitamin D. So she has your vitamins, don't you? You have special vitamins every day. Now like, I get them and it's just horrible. Like, I've got one right now. Like it's they're just horrible. Like You don't like them? No, why? I don't like them, do you? No. Well, I like I don't want to eat them anymore, but I have to, and you need to eat it. Make sure it doesn't doesn't make us sick. But I don't really like it. We both have special vitamins, don't we? No.
Taste that. Don't like it. No. I don't like it. No. It tastes disgusting. No, no. I hate it. No. It's not even ready yet. No, it's the bits. Oh, I thought you'd like it. It's the mess. But there are Easter cakes. Yum, yum. Should you put them in the fridge? Mm -hmm. Thanks for what? watching our video and we loved you so much watching our cakes slam that like button you 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 need to click on that like button if you don't that was bye bye everyone bye it's just great it's a great life if i'm honest mm. yum good morning um I didn't film last night because basically um, I, so I've got the coil, which is fine, but it's not fine at all. <laughs> it just ruins my life. <laughs> like girls, does any other girl think that contraception just ruins everything? Like can't live without it, can't live with it. Like it just drives me crazy. Like my periods are just so bad. Like I bloat crazy, like crazy. The bloat is just ridiculous. Is my phone ringing? No. I hear things. <laughs> I hear people. Um, I just bloat ridiculous, like I get really bad period pains, the bleeding's really bad, like it's just awful. And yeah, so today's not a great day, but we're gonna be fine. I've got my little cloco here. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, take some pics for um <gasps> oh, oh. <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> I hate these videos because I think that... <gasps> I shouldn't laugh. I know, but... That's something that would happen to us. She was laughing. <sighs> I like to ride my bicycle. I like to ride my bike. Oh dear. My light doesn't work anymore on mine. I think I need to charge it up. Some sort of life into my skin because... So I just got loads of deliveries from my poly. Um, hmm. And they're everywhere. <laughs> cool, that sums up my day. Look at my face here. You're going to see how good Nars' foundation is for coverage because... You know. Nars forever will be my life um, in shade Stromboli. Um, I mean, I don't know why it kills me every time you say that. She's such a hater sometimes. You know? <gasps> it's just going to not be a good makeup day, I can just tell. But, like, as you can see there, there's this new foundation, right, Chloe? Good apple. Good apple. Apparently it's really good, but apparently it's really oily and greasy, which I just don't think would work for me at all. Oh, that would work for me. My skin's as dry as the Sahara Desert. Mm. I had this colour match when I was tanned, so... Uh, <laughs> well, I've got no fake tan on right now. No fake tan whatsoever. No, haven't seen the sunlight in about a year due to our enemy, COVID. Mm. My foundation doesn't seem to match my skin, but, <laughs> you know... Who needs foundation that matches their skin? But yeah, I mean contraception girls, let's talk about it for a second. I just don't vibe with it. Our girl Chloe over here has been on the pill forever and they're best friends. Wow, let's not look at the bed like that. Yeah, Chloe's been on the pill for, she said since forever and it works for her and I don't know any other person that's on the same pill as me. What is that? My cook on. This is Chloe's fan um concealer called Elf. Is it Elf? Yeah. E L F. E L F. I don't know, just it found itself in it found its way into my makeup box and <laughs> oh, I really like it. Um but yeah, I just feel like us girls are just so unfortunate when it comes to, you know, having to use contraception. Like how easy do boys have it, let's be honest. 
like they don't have to worry about anything ever when it comes to bodies or anything like that and i've had my coil now since like october i think it was um and i had it before and obviously your girl gets impatient and i couldn't handle my periods they were so horrible but i got taken out a year later so literally october i was like i need my i need my coil back i keep forgetting my pill and you know obviously i cannot right now have another baby because i can just about look after my own my own the one i've got yeah basically i got it back in again because i kept forgetting the pill because i've got the memory of an absolute goldfish um got it back in again and it's just the same problem and i'm like do i get back on the pill do i just try and grow up a bit and remember my pill or mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. complete lie i did forget my pill a bit but i got really good at it but i just kept bleeding the whole way through my pill and i went to the doctors and they were like we have no idea what's going on because the pill you're on you're not supposed to bleed on and i did irregular I had my two of my um hair burst vitamins this morning i'm gonna be like repugnant you can remember to take them but you can remember to take your pill <laughs> so i can remember to take this but i couldn't remember to take my pill yes Chloe, that's exactly right that's why i was a teen mum <laughs> Makeup is not my forte, as we all know. Because I love to do the makeup and look in the mirror and go, oh. Makeup's supposed to make you look better, and I look worse. Uh huh, yeah, okay, no worries. No I just used my MAC bronzer, which is dark tan, because you know, your girl has a dark tan. And then I. Mm hmm. I sat the bronzer on like um there's no tomorrow, you know. God, I can't wait for me. <laughs> Let's just not talk about that. We're gonna go in more today. I'm gonna put my bronzer on the normal. <laughs> I'm gonna slap it on. Slap it on. That bronzer is good to be fair. Oh, max my life. I like my forehead looking like a sunset, you know. Maybe not that sunsetty. Best sunset I've ever seen. Yeah, it's just not. I'm sorry. Being on your period and trying to look good is just not even like a a thing, you know. But yeah, leave your leave your comments of um, what contraception. If you've ever been, I've got the copper coil with no hormones because trust me, guys, I've had everything. I've had the implant. I bled the whole time. Like I'm just my body just likes to irregular bleed and just bleed whenever it wants to. Um, so I had the implant twice that didn't work out for me um i had been on about three different types of pills bleed through them and so yeah so let me know what you will think I, i'm on the copper coil which is no hormones and to be fair like i think i would rather have heavier periods once a month than have a regular bleeding and not know when i'm gonna bleed but it's just really annoying but does anyone else have that problem and then my eyebrows, that is, that one's done and that one obviously is not. <laughs> um, and that is the NYX um, professional makeup. Why am I reading it? Oh, I drop everything 24 seven. That is the NYX micro brow pencil in shade Espresso. Swear by it, absolutely swear by it. I'm just gonna do my other eyebrow, wait there. Oh my God, I think we're at the end of it. Oh my God, I think I just broke it actually and it dropped on the floor. Have you got this as well? No, I've got benefit. Oh yeah, you do have benefit. No, I feel like this is only four ninety nine. Benefit's like eighteen and twenty pounds. It's free when you get your mum to buy it for you. <laughs> I know what they want from me. Problem is, this eyebrow is always thicker than this one, and it's. I know eyebrows should be sisters, not twins, but you know, I like them to be identical twins. Why is it spicy? Oh yeah, and then I put a bit of this underneath my eye um, in the corner. I have absolutely no idea what that does, but it's a Mia special and I did that. I made it up myself. <laughs> what, Clay? What's yeah. funny? You crap, yeah. So this is Sexy Mother Pucker. I will forever love you. Fair enough, it's the shade. I feel like I now look very grey, but you know, we move. I'm sure the light will... um. Right on my face up a bit. We're gonna go and 
take some content for Instagram. Um, work, 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 work. And tonight we're gonna make Nando's chicken pasta. Ooh, getting started. Yeah. Good evening. That bottom drawer is very annoying. Um, good evening everyone. Sorry I have not really been here today. So my vlog has been all over the place. I literally vlogged yesterday morning getting ready to go do a day of content and then I promised to make Nando's chicken pasta um, and then I didn't and now I'm back the following evening. Haven't vlogged all day today. I've just been cleaning and yeah, I'm gonna get into bed and I'm gonna explain why I've been a little bit this vlog is just a hot mess, I told you, I told you. But I just thought I'd show you my bedroom quickly because I mean, I haven't done a house tour yet, which I promised. Um, I've got things I need to finish, like AKA, I haven't got a light shade yet because I just have not found one that I like. Um, but this is my bed. Obviously I've spoken about this before from Arista Living. Um, I absolutely love it. And then those curtains are just from the rain. But I just, that's all I do. I love watching TV in bed. Um, but yeah, I need to get that and I need to get some, um, yeah, I need to get the light shade and I need to get, there's a throw from next that I really want and some more cushions, but none of it's in stock. I have my wardrobe um, that is considerably organised at the moment. I mean, the colour coordination going on in there is not enjoyable whatsoever. Neither is that pot lid. What is that doing there? But yeah, that's my wardrobe. Um, it's really annoying because half of it is literally you can't reach to. So all my I, I move it around like in summer. I put all my summer clothes here and all my coats one side. And then in winter, I put my coats this side and then all my summer clothes on the other side. But yeah, that is that. I'm just going to get into bed and let's talk for a minute. Obviously, with the whole situation that I went through, obviously, last year, that obviously I spoke about in my last video. Um... Obviously, I think I have said it earlier on in this vlog that I will be speaking about it properly. Um, obviously, further and overcoming and everything like that. But I went to film the video the other day. And I just feel like I was just having a really bad week. And I was like, how can I even speak about overcoming it when I really don't feel like I have? So I just completely put like stopped doing that um, and didn't even film. Um, but I'm not... You know when there's sort of like an anniversary, you know, there's like an anniversary of somebody's like a family member's death or something and, you know, it can bring up, you feel sort of a bit more sad on those days maybe, um, just because maybe you're remembering them more or, you know, I don't normally, on like anniversaries and things like that, I don't normally get more upset, I'm sort of just feel the same, I probably think about them more, um, but I don't get considerably more upset, but anyway, I realised today, like I was on my on my memories maybe on my phone how did i realize yeah no sorry i was on my archive on instagram and the girls dropped me around like literally onto my doorstep because of covid and um, they dropped me around this was a year ago today 31st um they dropped me around like a basket hamper like of a blanket um so the hamper had like a blanket it had some wine some wine glasses it had some like fake well tarts because they're like one of my favorites in and the blanket was to cover up like obviously the stab marks on my sofa that i spoke about before um and yeah it was a year ago today that, that first like well, wasn't the first incident but the first incident since first major incident since me and him had broken up had happened when he obviously turned up here um and did what you did to the sofa and i don't know i don't know whether it's made me feel sad or i just feel really tired um and i'm not tired because i haven't had sleep because i've had fine sleep i just feel like it's like an emotional tired um and i don't normally get more upset on like year anniversaries of things or like yeah i just don't normally but today i just feel really like I wouldn't say sad is the word, just sort of drained and tired and I don't know whether obviously the fact that um, like my periods are absolutely ridiculous in terms of bloating, pain, bleeding and, sorry too much information but this is a girl's place, um, it's just an all rounder roller coaster. but I don't know whether it's that maybe impacting it and maybe if I wasn't, it wasn't that time of the month I'd feel a lot, probably wouldn't really care as much but yeah. I don't know, I just think I've maybe thought about it a bit more today and 
yeah I, don't get me wrong i do have more good days than bad days now i do it's not always bad um but yeah i just wanted to say that um but yeah i'm not gonna dwell on today too much i feel like my book is always with me in my bedside drawer you know my, bed, my book that i've spoken about before good vibes good life genuinely this book I feel like this helped me so much. And so I'm going to read a couple of pages of this book, this book and I'm going to go to sleep. And I have got a really important day tomorrow or something that is really amazing that I can't share with you right now. Um, but hopefully I will be able to soon. But yeah, I've got that tomorrow. It's bright and early. So I'm going to get some sleep. Um, and I'll be back with you soon. I'm hoping to have a better day tomorrow. So good night. First touch, first touch, get left in the dust. Oh, that's in a the big dust. one. No room to judge. Oh, Talking oh, is a soul trap. Oh, 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 first touch, <laughs> first touch, get left in the dust. Oh, left in the dust. Oh, no room to judge. No room to judge. So tonight you should go and take a chance with us. She could be everything you wanted. Everything you wanted, but. She could be everything you want